Hello, everybody. Um, this is a presentation uh, and a demonstration around the uh, Telco VNF, uh, which we have actually rebuilt to deploy it in a container. My name is Martin Beckstrom. I'm working out of Ericsson. And with me, we were hoping to see Mr. Toby Ford of AT&T. Unfortunately, he's in another uh, meeting. Um, we in a panel and obviously a little bit delayed. Hopefully, he will very soon show up. Um, uh, anyway, I continue since we have a time slot here that, that we need to uh, take care of as good as possible. Um, we have a little bit of an agenda. We have a recap from what we did in the last summit. Um, we will explain then what microservices and cloud native virtualized network function um, actually means for us and how the, they can be deployed in a container and a policy driven environment. After that we have a demo, uh, a demo video and uh, in the end I have a little sum up of, of uh, our presentation here today. So if we go to the um, Vancouver Summit. We have done a lot of different things within Ericsson, um, and that has been very much uh, to drive very much open daylight uh, and Neutron to support Layer 3 VPN, and also to make it possible for using OpenStack in a policy-driven networking environment over the separation of control plane um, and user plane um, in an application. Of course, we have continued to work with our NFE strategy, and as I think you know, the cornerstone of OPNFE is very much the OpenStack, where OPNFE is sort of the intended environment standardizing uh, a telecom virtualization environment. And now comes my friend, Mr. Toby Ford of at and uh, Happy to see you here. Um, so we started because the time slot here was, was important to keep. Uh, I was just doing the Vancouver Summit re recap. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thank you. Can you hear me? Um, so to add to uh, what Martin started for me, thank you. Um, you know, we're pushing VNFs to be more um, cloud native. And so we're in this movement to try to drive them to something that's more scale out, something that's simpler, works more efficiently, can be more simply configured, and then uh, deployed in a way that can be managed over the whole life cycle. And then uh, it's far more uh, independent, disposable elements. Okay, on policy-driven deployment, there's a lot of things to say. Um, if you really decompose a VNF in, in the way that Toby was talking about, we have a possibility to deploy them in a container in a very efficient way. And the decomposition then also enables to have different kind of policy-driven uh, policies for all the different kind of signaling, which is very important in a network where control signal needs to be re prioritized at restarts and, and different kind of, of uh, policies. Um, also, telecom needs to adopt to a higher pace of, of innovation and a higher pace of, uh, of uh, installation. In this demo, we will basically show how we can deploy a complete 3GPP specified uh, virtualized network function in seconds. So the demo setup that we will have here is basically to take a VCG, which is a standard element that allows you to communicate between a Volt uh, architecture and a standard internet uh, way. That is a product that is standardized in 3GPP, nothing special. Here we have tweaked it then, so it is actually deployed in containers, and this is a real demo, so the, the uh, cabinets and all of that is in Montreal, in our dev site, and here in, in uh, Tokyo, we have the user and then the possibility to actually deploy it. Um, I will also add here that, that uh, 
the the difference is very much on the load and i think you will will see and understand from from the film that we intend to show here how it's all working let's begin with the infrastructure behind the apsara hcos apsara is deployed on the cloud ericsson environment based on openstack as we see here in the network topology we are using eight virtual machines hosting apsara hcos which is the most basic setup these boxes on the right are the virtual machines. The last one is used for the orchestrator of the cluster. We are also using two networks. The green layer is for internal communication and the orange layer is for external communication. Let's go now to the Apsara dashboard. On the left, we can use the navigation panel to explore some of the features of Apsara. In the cluster panel, we can see we have 13 instances running, controlled by one manager. The RAM and disk usage is also shown for the cluster. In the jobs panel, the list of jobs running is displayed, along with the policy rules for the jobs. Currently, the WCGVNF is not deployed. The route sections shows the different routes configured. In the staging panel, we find the list of stages running. Finally, the packages list cached in Apsara are shown here. The last element in this demo is the WebRTC client used to connect to the WCG VNF. Because the application is not deployed, I am currently not able to register. Let's try to register with user John. I will now deploy the WCG VNF. A 1.5 gig Docker image using this Apsara command from the orchestrator. The image's 18 layers were staged and cached as packages, which are used to deploy the application in just a few seconds. Now we just have to wait for the WCG VNF to start. Now, let's see the WCG VNF job running. We have the details of the job along with the packages and routes used. The stats of the disk, CPU, network, and RAM are found in this section. The logs of the application are also available in Apsara. Finally, we see the pro policy here. If we go back to our WebRTC client, we should now be able to log in with John. I'm now logged in into the application, and I will try to make a web-to-web -web video call with Miguel. The connection is now established and I'm in an ongoing call with Miguel. I will hang up this call and try to make a web to mobile phone call. Once again, the signaling will go through the WCG VNF and to the IMS core. If this call is successful, it should ring on my mobile device. The phone is ringing. Once again, the connection is established. This concludes our demo. Thank you for watching. Yes. So we've seen a container-based deployment of the VNF. Uh, this, in this case, an IMS gateway. This has helped to demonstrate both the, the policy-driven nature of what we're trying to get to, as well as the type of cloud-native container-based automated deployment. This is what we hope uh, we can take to more VNFs as we go forward. And then for the next time, we're going to work up to an, a new demo that will allow us to show some more sophistication when it comes to networking, managing flows, applying policy to those flows, as well as getting to more sophisticated, intelligent uh, service management and deployment architecture. 
Okay, thank you very much. We have the demo down in the Ericsson booth, uh, one floor below us. Uh, there we also have technical experts that can uh, explain more in detail for anyone being interested. And all of you are very welcome to visit us in our booth and, and look further onto this demo. Okay, thank you very much.